Good morning, Pisces. This is Renee, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Pisces, this will be your reading for February 1st through the 15th. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And uh, take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages. Pisces, if this doesn't resonate, I do readings once a week. So, look back next week for a new message. Okay, what do we have for Pisces? Sun, moon, and rising for their greater good. Confusion. What is going on, Pisces? We have self self worth at the bottom. So someone is struggling with finding their self worth. You know they're feeling a little inadequate. Inadequate. <laughs> you know what I mean. Inadequate. Yes. It's early. Okay, Pisces. Message for Pisces. We have tender embrace. There may be love that, that's going through some kind of confusion. We have seen beyond. So, Pisces. Maybe seeing things from a different point of view. Seeing something a little outside the box. You know, Pisces, you are not meant to be boxed in. You are not meant to be um, singled out. You know, you are a free spirit. Very intuitive, very giving, very loving. We have opportunities and change, definitely. And at the bottom, we have cut the cords. So Pisces, what I'm feeling from this energy is you may be dealing with a situation in love, and I feel like there's a lot of confusion. There's not a lot of words being said. Maybe someone is being too quiet. That may be you, Pisces. That may be you being too quiet, holding things in. There's something that needs to be let go of. You need to clear the air in this situation. And that will bring opportunity for change. You know? Let's take a look at the tarot. What does the tarot have to say for Pisces? February 1st through the 15th. Messages for Pisces. Sun, moon, and rising for their greater good. We have the King of Wands. Yeah, you may be dealing with a fire sign, Pisces. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But it doesn't have to. This could be your passionate energy. This could be you kind of breaking the mold, being very bold and assertive. You know? Hmm. Yeah, we have the star. Now, when I see the star, I think of Pisces. So I feel this is your energy, Pisces. This is you. You're going through healing. And it may be some passionate events. Some person brought out a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions. Um, there may be, may have been some heated arguments. But I feel like you're going through healing, Pisces. Definitely. The Two of Swords. You're at a crossroads. There's decisions. There's a very hard decision you need to make. 
these are also choices. Or it may mean that maybe there's something that needs to be compromised. Maybe you need to see things from another point of view, Pisces. And we have the judgments. So definitely someone feels judged in this situation. Someone feels left out. They feel like someone has made a final decision and they've been left out of the decision. Um, this could also be you making a final decision and going through this. It seems like much needed change that you need to go through. You could be coming out of this confusion, Pisces. Or this could be someone close to you coming out of confusion, finding the light. Yeah, the magician, that's what it is. Um, this person is finding the light. They're creating some kind of new situation. Um, this could also be you manifesting something into your life. This could be you, after a time of healing, you've made a choice to bring out your spiritual side, to recreate yourself, to recreate your surroundings, Pisces. You're creating something big, it seems. Definitely something big. A fiery bold new beginning this is very focused energy this is very inspired energy i feel like you're you're creating something the knight of cups hmm the knight of cups energy i believe this is to me this feels like believing in the impossible dream with this Knight of Cups energy. He's right underneath the star. The star signifies healing after a change, after a huge change, after something that just wasn't working, needed to kind of crumble. It needed to be left behind, you know? And I feel like with the star energy, this is huge change coming forward. And this is spirit letting you know to believe in your impossible dreams. Whatever is the wildest, most impossible dream could very well come true. Look at this. The, the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Very interesting. Yeah, the Two of Wands. This is another card of choice, of waiting, of making decisions. You could also be making travel plans, Pisces. But I really feel like this is you making a new choice. Something that's going to be a breakthrough for your future. Um, a future event that you're looking forward to. Some kind of situation. We have the Ten of Wands. Very heavy energy. With the Judgment card. I feel like with the Ten of Wands, there's a lot of struggle going on here. I feel like you may be really overthinking the situation, overthinking to the point of exhaustion. I feel like you're carrying a huge load, Pisces. Something that you're doing. But look at this. You have change coming through. Change is here and change is right under the magician. There's going to be a huge change that's going to diminish all of these burdens. That's going to get rid of your burdens. That's going to get rid of your confusion, get rid of your heartbreak. 
you know i feel like something is coming through that's going to be very beautiful what is this energy spirit what is this situation okay we have we have the queen of swords and the queen of pentacles wow something that's going to be thought provoking some kind of truth is coming out some kind of purpose that you're meant for pisces and i feel like you know you have the the queen of swords but you also have the queen of wands you also have the king of wands so i feel like this is a fire inside of you this is you finding your confidence finding your spirit this could also be love coming through of course with the king of wands and the queen of wands this could also be love coming through that's going to change your life dramatically yeah we have the chariot so whatever the situation is for you pisces whether it is a huge truth that's coming out to bring you some sort of creative energy to make you like move past those uh, boundaries that you've been persistently trying to achieve. Or if this is new love coming in, whichever the case, Pisces, you are moving forward in a very, very strong position. These burdens are going to be conquered. These burdens are going to no longer exist. Because look at this. Look what we have on the bottom. This may be love for you, Pisces. We have the Two of Cups. So some kind of union, some kind of partnership is coming through. And it is going to take you totally out of your confusion. Totally out of you know the feeling of being boxed in i feel like this is freedom for you pisces this is an energy and i'm just getting excited i'm getting so excited just just feeling this energy but pisces i feel like this is going to be something huge this is going to make all the difference look at this we have the Queen of Cups. I feel like you're dipping your toes in the water. You're dipping your toes in the water of emotion, you know. You're, you're basking in that energy. You're feeling an overflow of happiness. An overflow of intuitive breakthrough ideas. Something that's coming through that's very strong. It's very, like I said, your most impossible dream can be coming true. I, I, I really feel like this Knight of Cups is telling you to believe in your most impossible dream. Something that you really don't feel like it's coming. Something very big is in the works for you, Pisces. That's very interesting. I'm going to take another deck because I want to know more about this. I want to know more about this situation. Tell me more about this for Pisces, Spirit. Give me more information for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising for February 1st through the 15th. For Pisces, Greater Good. Give me more message. More messages, please. What is this? We have the magician again. You have two magicians. You are creating something big in your life. You're very focused. You're turning your visions into realities. This is huge, Pisces. This is huge. I feel like you are so powerful right now. Yeah. And look at this, we have the Five of Cups in reverse. So definitely, something, so, something is going to come. And it's something that you don't want slipping through your fingertips. You don't want to miss this opportunity to whatever the situation is. So Pisces, take notice of whatever it is that you're working on. 
take notice. Don't miss this opportunity. Don't let this slip through your fingertips. Yeah, we have the death card. So definitely some kind of huge change is coming through. I mean, we have so many cards on change, growth, expansion. And I feel like this is transforming into something very beautiful, very unexpected. With endings, there's always big changes big transformations. So something that you had to cut the cord of, something that you had to let go of, is leaving you for your higher good. It's making room for something bigger, something better, something more suited for you. Yeah, look at this. We have the Two of Cups again. So this could very well be love, union, a partnership, some kind of situation. Someone wants to come in and gift you with some kind of information, some kind of gift, some kind of knowledge. This could also be someone gifting you with the money to start a business or with the money to, you know, get something that you really need out of life that you really can't, um, that's a necessity, something that you can't live without, like food, water, shelter, you know, something that you thrive on. Someone wants to give you a gift, definitely the Ace of Pentacles. This is beautiful energy, Pisces, because this is saying that there's new job, there's new income, there's new money coming in. This is also you finding new value and whatever this is that you're creating you're finding the answers that you need to bring this into fruition to turn your vision into reality to turn what you want into gold that's the vision that i'm getting and i feel like with this eight of swords energy it's something very unexpected. This is something that you really didn't realize that would ever be possible. This is something that maybe you've kind of sheltered yourself from for a very long time because you didn't think that this is possible. This, this very well could be love. This very well could be someone who's very wealthy coming into your life. And maybe you sheltered yourself because you've been hurt in the past. That's why you have the confusion. But I feel like Pisces, unleash yourself. Look at this. Unleash yourself. You have the wheel of fortune again. So something is definitely turning your view. Something is turning in your favor. Some kind of change is coming through that's going to be very dramatic. It's going to be very prosperous, very life-changing. This, <laughs> this reading has everything. It has healing. It has love. It has manifestation in a huge, huge way. New beginnings and change. Pisces, you're in for a ride of your life. Because this Queen of Swords, look at this. We have the Queen of Swords twice. You're in for the truth. The truth is coming through. Now, the Queen of Swords, she's also very self-sufficient. But she's also very honest, very open, very intelligent. She thinks before she speaks. And she knows when to hold back her tongue. You know, her tongue can cut like a knife. Just like the king. If she speaks too fast without thinking, but if she thinks wisely while she's speaking, her words can perform, you know, her words can burst through like this electrical storm. It gives this electrical energy, this burst of energy. 
and we have the high priestess on the bottom beautiful energy so i feel like whatever this is pisces trust in your intuition because whatever this is knight of swords this is coming in very swiftly don't hesitate on this opportunity don't dwell on anything that could stop your path because i feel like this is very important this knight of swords can also someone who comes in kind of a fast talking person someone who doesn't think before they speak you know someone who's a little immature someone who moves at a very fast pace but this can also be you fighting for what you what you think is right fighting for what you know you want and overcoming you know the, this is very beautiful energy here pisces I'm, I'm really loving this reading for you because i feel like so many things are coming through um, let's get some oracle cards for Pisces. What else does Pisces need to know? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna get a, a moonology card. Let's get moonology for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? And of course, a card just flew out. We have conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Yeah, so this is going to come through pretty quickly. This is not going to take a long time to break through. Um, like I said, I feel like this is coming in very fast. So I feel like whatever you're working on, whatever this is, Pisces, if this is love, if this is business, if this is, you know, just your life in general. I feel like you are going through breakthroughs. Look at the bigger picture. Look through the lens of a different perspective. Um, you know, when people look through telescopes, they usually have to change the lenses to get a better view. And that's how I'm feeling. That's what I'm seeing when I see that card. Um, I'm seeing that you need to change the lens so that you can get a closer look at whatever this is that you're seeing. Because what, what this is, is beautiful. It's beautiful energy. Pisces, wow. We have work through your fears. Don't let fear stop you. Don't let fear stop you, Pisces. Be fearless. At the bottom, we have don't let pride get in your way. So, yes, don't let pride get in your way. Don't be fearful to ask for help if you need it. Do not let an opportunity slip through your fingertips this month. Because this month can change the course of your entire life, Pisces. This month is very important. And it could be love. It very well could be love. I commit to the practice of serving the good, of seeing the good in all things. I'm sorry, I haven't put on my glasses yet. Seeing the good in all things. Beautiful energy. What else do we have for Pisces? What else do we have? Self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefits me and others. You have a very strong presence, a very strong soul, very strong intuition. You are powerful and have patience, Pisces. I accept that everything happens in divine timing. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Okay, let's get another oracle card. Let's see, what messages do we have for Pisces? February 1st through the 15th. Sun, moon, and rising for the higher good, please. We have magic manifesting. That's exactly what I felt with two magicians 
And um, let's see, did you have two aces as well? I believe you did. But th there is so much change, so much manifesting, so much just beautiful, beautiful nature in this reading. And you have two Wheel of Fortunes, two Queens. Oh, wow. Just beautiful energy. Manifest magic. You are manifesting magic, Pisces. Let me read you the small print. Just one moment. <clears throat> okay. We have your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. Beautiful. At the bottom, we have supreme protection. You're protected. Cards are being cut. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation and trust. You know, like I, I was feeling that, Pisces, that there's something that was being let go of in order to move away into some bigger, better opportunity that's awaiting on the other side of letting that go, you know? And sometimes we have to let things go in our life in order for better things to come, you know? And I feel like that's exactly what's going on, Pisces. That's why I'm getting this feeling. We have the Seven Star Sisters. Birthing creation. Tapestry of life. Expression. Yeah, birthing creations. You're birthing something very significant. There's something going on, Pisces. And you'll have to let me know what it is in the comment section. But I feel like whatever this is, is taking you to a brand new height, to a brand new destination. Something that's very life-changing. Okay, Pisces, that is what I have for you. So, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages. And Pisces, until your next reading, many blessings, love, and light.